it's me again. We're still on our break. We are, we're finished with season, whatever last season was. And I'm here to tell you the some more uh, winter holiday uh, uh, stories. Um, we could do this story, uh, the story about the ugly Christmas sweater. No, that was last time. That was the last episode. I'm not going to tell you the story about the ugly Christmas sweater all over again. No, I'm not. But you'll notice I'm only using a little bit of my, my crazy, kooky Uncle John John voice. Because actually, I'm actually just going to read a Christmas story to you in my regular voice. So, tonight, I am going to tell you the story The Night Before Christmas. This is a really, 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 really old story. It's so old that it is a poem. It's written as a poem that tells the story of the night before Christmas. So what's another what's another name? What's another word for the night before Christmas? Christmas Eve. Yeah. So I'm going to tell you a, a poem, a Christmas poem about Christmas Eve. And you can see these children are playing in front of a fire. Oh, that's not safe. That's not safe at all. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in the hope that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. Yawn, yawn. Oh, here's St. Nicholas, and here's the children, and here's Mom and Dad, fast asleep. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below, when what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With an old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now, Dasher, now, Dancer, now, Prancer, now, Vixen, now, Comet, on Comet, on Cupid, on Dunder and Blixen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now, Dash away, Dash away, Dash away, all... As dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky, so up to the housetop the courses they flew, with the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas, too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and the pawing of each tiny hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. These are some great pictures. It 
so the children are are should be asleep, but maybe they're dreaming about these. Uh, uh, it looks like a, a it's a steaming plum for dessert. There's something delicious for them to eat in this picture. He was dressed all in furs, from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples so merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry, and Draw his drawl little mouth was drawn up in a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. Uh, this is great. The uh, the reindeer picture on the roof. Uh, this is so fun. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth. And the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in, in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. This is, this is great. Oh, here's a picture of Santa with his pipe. Oh, that's so great. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle, but I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. And that is what I shall say to you. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. And pleasant dreams. <laughs> 